This honorable member from Tyne Valley Sherbrooke. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Temporary foreign workers have been arriving on PEI since late April, providing skilled and essential labor for many of PEI's farms and fish processing plants. PEI public health planning for 14-day self-isolation of TFWs have, has been well-managed and effective. But what next? We know that outbreaks of COVID-19 can spread quickly in a processing plant setting, as we have seen in meat processing facilities in Ontario and Alberta. Temporary foreign worker accommodations and work environments can further compound the risk of spreading the virus. Dr. Morrison has said it's better to err on the side of caution in any decision to close things down to prevent further spread. And rightly so. But if an outbreak occurs at a processing plant resulting in a closure, newly arrived workers will not have enough hours to qualify for EI. If they have not earned enough money in Canada within the year prior, they will not qualify for CERB either. Further complicating matters, TFWs are tied to their employer and are not legally allowed to work in any other setting even if they are not sick themselves. When I asked about supports for TFWs during the discussion on COVID-19 spending, Minister Compton was quick to point out that TFWs are a federal government responsibility, suggesting that the province would probably intervene if needed. This response suggests that this government has not seriously considered the well-being of essential, these ex essential workers at all beyond the first 14 days. Tragically, over the weekend, a temporary foreign worker in Ontario died from COVID-19, the third migrant worker in that province to die from the virus. This worker did not bring COVID-19 with him to Canada, rather he contracted it while in this country. This farm currently has 217 active cases and is one of several similar outbreaks in Ontario. With a second wave of COVID-19 possible, if not likely for PEI, it is critical that the PEI government start by advocating with the federal government to ensure programs will cover all TFWs, including newly landed workers. In the meantime, we must guarantee that all TFWs will be covered by a provincial program should federal programs fall short and they are unable to work due to COVID-19. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.